Hey guys, I just want to show you guys two ways to drop Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Let's get going. And it's awesome. So, I'm going to teach you guys two ways how to do this. Uh, there's a baby version of him, and then there's an adult version. So right now I'm just doing a quick sketch of the baby version. I'll tell you guys how to do it in a little bit. Uh, this is just going to be a really fast one with a blue colored pencil, and then I'll move on to the pencil. The reason why I do blue colored pencil is so I can just do a rough sketch, and I can leave it on the page without uh, erasing it. So right now I'm going to go to the pencil, and as you can see, I'm outlining my an oval shape of a head with uh, some fur. I'm doing that as slow as possible even though it's sped up like crazy. And then I'm going to try to darken out the areas of the eyes and then the ears because it is a panda. So there we go. I did some little cute eyes with a little highlight. As I finish off the inside, I'm zooming the nose and then I'm going to do the mouth in a little bit as I keep going on. And then I have to draw the little teeth and then the inside of the mouth. Yeah, it kind of looks like a little buck teeth, little cute baby teeth. Doing the arms, the arms are a little bit more chubbier than normal because uh, when it comes to a baby panda, they're a little nice and fluffy, like a fluffy ball. And moving on to the back, everything's light, nice and fluffy, and all I gotta do is the coloring. So I'm just gonna shade the uh, arms, and then I'm gonna shade um, the feet, I believe. There we go. And that's how I do it. It's really nice and simple, very easy. Make it a little bit darker, and that's it. So, uh, while it's done, we're going to move on to the bigger version, or the adult version of Poe. And uh, I'm going to slow down a little bit when it comes down to this uh, blue card pencil so you guys can see a little bit more of the process. And uh, I start off with the same shape head, a little flip on the hair to know it's actually still him. That's kind of a character a characteristic that he has compared to uh, other pandas in that movie. Um, nose is a little bit wider, uh, the mouth is going to definitely be bigger. And um, I'm going to squint the uh, outside of the eyes a little bit to give it more uh, of a personality. And um, do a little bit of the eyes, the eyeball, the eyelid. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the shading uh, with the blue card pencil uh, as I go along. Because I think, uh, I'm not sure if I went with pencil first or I, go, I went straight with uh, uh, black micron. I have no idea. But uh, we'll see. So, as you see, I did the arms very extremely lightly. Uh, it's going to be one arm up, one arm to the side, kind of like a kung fu um, pose, as you can see. Uh, one arm's out this way, kind of like a palm strike. The other one's kind of like doing like a hitting crane type of thing. <laughs> but um, that's how I did that. And uh, as you can see, I did really light and really. I, I tried to go a little bit darker with a blue card pencil as I was more confident and uh, more sure of myself of what's going on in the picture. Uh, here's a foot uh, being kicked up. And then uh, the other one's uh, kind of doing some foreshortening with that being a bend to the back, uh, doing a little bit of uh, the wraps on his feet. And then, yes, I did not go straight to pencil as it looks like. I went straight to Micron. And uh, it looks like I'm going to start uh, tracing everything super extremely fast and um, coloring it as I go along. and start to take form. And um, I think, I'm not quite sure, I think I went with pen in order to get it with finer detail, but it doesn't look like it did. And uh, there we go, I'm starting to do the mouth, it's going to be open, oh there it goes. Um, I went with a micron to make it more thinner with the detail, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to use, back with the uh, micron, or I went with a Prismacolor marker it looks like, to do a fine detail. I think my marker started to die out so I had to switch the color of the black, because I think this is a cool black, and I switched to a warmer black later on. Yeah, this marker is starting to run out, as you can see, so unfortunately I had to switch to a warmer marker because uh, I ran out of the cool ones. There we go, coloring the fingers and the hands. I start to lose some of the detail because it is black, but it's okay. So moving on to a skin tone uh, to make some of the uh, colors. Uh, this is actually a spice red I did for the belt. And then I move on some skin tone for the rest of the clothing because the wrapping, I couldn't really find a good color. So I just used a skin tone uh, for normal humans. I did that for the same with the mouth, the palms, and I did a little bit darker for the pants. And um, that's basically it, guys. <laughs> that's how I draw Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Hope you guys like this video. A like if you like it, dislike if you disliked it. And as always, stick around for the next video. Um, tell me in the comments below what you guys want me to draw. I'm always willing to have extra comments or suggestions. Or tell me in person if you if you have me for school. <laughs> if you have me in class. Um, that's basically it. I have I did uh, a project that first grade did. On the top uh, right hand corner, it's the Mondrian Circle Paintings, and I have my vlogging channel. I haven't updated my vlogging channel in a while, but there's that, and that is it. See you guys next time.